Hello, I'm Leon. So after about several hours of me trying to figure out a good introduction video and me forgetting that the microphone isn't on and the battery dying, I decided to just do an intro with, uh, or I decided to just share a story of mine um, for my first time ever approaching a girl. So I'll take you guys back to uh, when I think I was, I think I was in eighth grade. I was in eighth grade, and there was this girl named, oh, I'll just say her name was Sarah. And every time I would see Sarah, whether like in the schoolyard or in the hallway or in the cafeteria, wherever, she would just absolutely make my, my stomach drop, and I, I would always forget what to say to her. Day, I was sitting in class, it was in my Latin class, and my teacher, um, for the first time, she, she, never, she never really had anything on her desk, but one day she brought this vase, very nice looking uh, glass, glass vase, and there were tulips in there, several tulips, and I'm looking at this vase, and I'm thinking about Sarah, and I'm just like, aha! Have this brilliant plan. I'm gonna get one of those tulips, um, <clears throat> go give it to Sarah, and all of a sudden she's gonna be absolutely in love with me, right? Mind of a little kid. <laughs> I guess I wasn't that little at the time, but you know what I'm trying to say. So I raised my hand, I asked, the, asked my teacher, hey, can I have one of those tulips? And naturally, she wants to know why. When she asks this question, I <clears throat> understandably kind of get very embarrassed and I don't want to say. And <clears throat> then she asks me, still in front of the class, um, do you want to give it to someone? And I said yes, very quietly. And <clears throat> <clears throat> then the, the teacher sort of understands and she walks over and she's like, okay, but you have to tell me who you want to give it to. I whispered in her, her uh, I whispered Sarah's name into her ear, and then she started smiling and whatever, and she mm, grabbed one of the two of them. So I'm like, yes, mission accomplished, I, I have the two of them. Um, so let's fast forward to the end of the day. Um, the hallways are, are packed with all, all the students trying to get home. Uh, get on the school bus or like go wait outside for for parents <clears throat> what have you and I've got my tool up in hand and got my backpack on and I'm chugging over to uh, to Sarah's locker and when I'm about 20 15 20 feet away from her all of a sudden it's like my brain my brain just kicks in and this doubt, like all these different bad things that can happen when I go talk to her, and <clears throat> I start sweating bullets, like pretty big bullets at the time. Um, <clears throat> but this doesn't stop me. I still, I still go over there. But instead of that positive attitude that I had before, all of a sudden now I'm just thinking, <clears throat> I'm just thinking about every possible bad thing. Tap her on the shoulder, like she turns around, and <clears throat> I start talking, but it's I don't even remember what I said. Like when I think back on it, it just it just sounds like gibberish. I can't even remember. Like I was uh, basically just stammering, um, stammering. I was I was sweating. I don't even think I looked her in the eye, to be honest with you. But at the after I said my piece, whatever the hell that was, I take my, I take the tool, I give it to her. I think I practically just shoved it in her face, um, but I give it to her. And um, keep in mind that this entire time, like remember, it's it's the end of the school, uh, not the end of the school year. Um, it was the end of the day, so the hallways are packed, and there's people like people around, and they see me talking to her. So, 
gave her the, the two of them, and then as fast as I could possibly walk, I got the hell out of there and went to the, uh, I went to my, my school bus, and that was <laughs> fun times. So, yeah, my, <clears throat> one more time, my name's Leon, and I just wanted to start off with a, a little story like that. Before I go, I just want to issue a little challenge out to you guys. Um, we see people like walk by us every day, especially if you're, if you're in a big city. Um, <clears throat> just sort of challenge yourself. Challenge your uh, overcoming like the fear of social repercussions. Like uh, 10 strangers, if you have some kind of, uh, give them, give them a, a compliment. And not just any compliment, something sincere. Something that you can really appreciate about them. Uh, try to give that to just 10 people throughout the week. All right, once again, I'm Leon. Uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm out. All right, we're good? We're good. Microphone, uh, camera. All right.